All right, let's look at number four in R3 here. Um, and um, one thing to note is um, let's first draw in what appears based on the shape to be the uh, asymptotes here. And so I'm gonna draw an asymptote, which would be at two, and then another one at negative two. And it looks like there's a horizontal asymptote at two. And so whenever there's a vertical asymptote, vertical, two, two vertical asymptotes, you will expect three pieces of the graph. So you'll have a right piece uh, to the right of the um, one vertical asymptote. Uh, you'll have a piece in the middle and a piece to the left. So don't think of the piece in the middle um, as a parabola because a parab even though it does have that parabolic shape, but this isn't a quadratic. Um, it's a rational function, and it just happens to have that shape because um, on either side of um, between there, it has to be going towards infinity, so it takes on that parabolic shape. Um, all right, so the way to start finding a function is um, a rational function is what do you only get from the numerator, and that's going to be the x-intercept. So I'm going to I'm going to put. A leading coefficient in front because I don't know what that is yet. So I've got an x-intercept at 5 and it's going straight through, so x minus 5. I've got an x-intercept at negative uh, 3, so I'm going to say x plus 3 going straight through again. And then the vertical asymptotes is come directly from the denominator, so I'm going to say x plus 2 and x minus 2. And right now if we were to leave it as is and say a was one, you would have the leading coefficient on the top would be x squared and the denominator would also be x squared. So um, that would mean the degrees are the same. So you'd have a EBA of y equals one. Well, I have an EBA of y equals two. So I just want to change that a now to b two. And let's just um, kind of as a last check, so that should cover everything just as a last check. Let's put in uh, the y-intercept looks between 7 and 8. So let's just check if that uh, works here. So if I plug in 0 for x, I get 2 times negative 5 times 3 over 2 times negative 2, which um, in reduced form is 15 halves or seven and a half and that looks to check out absolutely um, so that is four so again if you have th two asymptotes you should expect three pieces of the graph and also notice because everything's of degree one in the numerator and denominator or I should say multiplicity one in factored form it should be say, changing sides signs across x-intercepts and vertical asymptotes and that's what you see here